Bring your own microphone. <laughs> so bizarre. I don't get it. Anyway, how's everyone? Yeah. Good to be here. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm relatively sad recently because I went to my doctor and he said, You, sir, are obese. And I said, Oh, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> They said, actually, I've been looking at the chart, and you were actually morbidly obese. Morbidly obese. I was like, ow. That's horrific. I'm morbidly obese. It's the kind of obesity that people get scared of. They are in a room with you. They say, what's that smell? Oh, my God. Is someone morbidly obese in there? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm a bit depressed. 
but uh, it's also because I, I got divorced, which isn't great. This is fun. And it sounds, when women get divorced, they become a divorcee. Like, wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm a divorcee. <laughs> I'm up to all kinds of hijinks. But men just become divorced. And then you're divorced. I'm just like morbid. Yeah. That, guy, that guy's morbid and divorced. Oh. Oh. Divorced. No, it's not fun. Uh, but she, you know, she decided that she said, you know, I want to leave you. And I said, oh, oh, that's too bad. And she said, yes, but by me saying I want to leave you, I actually mean I want you to leave. Get out of the house, please. And I said, oh, because she loved the house. It's just when I was in it. It wasn't as much fun for her, the house. So she just, you know, she wanted me to, you know, to stop for everybody. And so I left. And so I've ever since I've been looking for love in all, you know, worst places. You know, I'm just looking for some affection, love out there. And, uh, you know, I have, I've now been living in an apartment. And there's a deck on the second floor. And I like to sit out there in the evening, enjoy the beautiful, cool evening breezes, look up at the stars. And while I've been sitting out there, this raccoon has started to come <laughs> and visit me. Comes right up, pats his little paws on my, my knee. I said, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I love this raccoon. <laughs> And then we give me a biscuit, maybe a little biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> and wander away. We're well, we friends. We're very really close more than friends, I think. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, one day, it just stopped coming. Stopped coming. Like, every night you'd be thinking, where are you? I would see, see the raccoon walking on other people's roofs. All around the neighborhood. Just wouldn't come to life anymore. I'm like, oh my god. It's happening again. <laughs> I'm being rejected by North America's largest robot. This is so weird. And then, you know, I'm just like, oh dear. And then I come out a couple nights later, and there's my raccoon and another raccoon there, waving its paws as if to say, my client no longer wishes to have contact with you. <laughs> and then a bunch of raccoons came and took away half my patio furniture. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. Not a great time. Hmm. How are you? Are you enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of space. No one's vomiting or getting in trouble. <laughs> shooting germs at each other. I get it. I understand. Uh, the thing is, uh, I, I, I was looking at a, a table, an IQ table, the other day, and it says morons. You know, you think morons, they're quite stupid. Right? Am I right? But morons are actually the high end of the stupid Because <laughs> there's, there's morons, excuse me, there's morons. And they're, they're 45 to 60 IQ. Uh, that's a moron. And then 30 to 45 is an imbecile. <laughs> Technically, an imbecile. And then 30 and lower is an idiot. <laughs> so you have morons, imbeciles, and idiots. And if you're trying to run an office, this is very dangerous and confusing. Because you say, hey, what are you idiots doing in here? You're all idiots. And they say, well, what do you expect? We're idiots. You should have hired imbeciles. <laughs> or at least a moron. Because we have supervisors so that we could be guided by the moron. So now you expect us idiots to do moron level thinking? God damn it! Okay, I brought in a couple of morons. 
to take care of you idiots. And I've also got a couple of imbeciles that I'm training. So, try and help out the imbeciles if you can, idiots. I know it's impossible for you because you're idiots. But try not to cause trouble with the imbeciles while they're being trained by the morons. <laughs> There's something there, though. Isn't there? Hey, there it is! I think there's something there. Wow, well, you win this hill. Sir, I'm a moron. I'm going to call HR as soon as I figure out how to use the phone. <laughs> That's better. Uh, If I come in here to this lunchroom and find you idiots in here, sir, I'm actually an imbecile. <laughs> These are the idiots. Should I get the moron in here to sort this out? Anyway, I just can't stop thinking about idiots and the moron. Now, what, uh, then how's COVID been for you? Excited? Yeah, it's been pretty good, huh? Uh, the thing is, I mean, it's hard to stay isolated and, you know, keep uh, people from, you know, coming into your home. My mother, it's hard to keep her in her house. She's 89 years old now, but she's incredibly active. Uh, she's an MMA fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Under the name, uh, the angry ancient avocado. <laughs> Triple A. <laughs> she's very violent. She's extremely ripped. I mean, she's not, she's got incredibly brittle bones. But she's extremely ripped. And sometimes she does pose downs and shatters her entire body. It's crazy. But she likes to get out and wrestle people out in the street. Uh, she loves it. You can't, can't stop her. You can't stop her from doing it. She, uh, she also uh, likes to do things for the kids, you know? She feels bad for the kids being locked up all the time. And so she's knitted a uh, Spider-Man costume, and she swings around the neighborhood, <laughs> perching on the children's windowsills, and then she squats down and lays millions of chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I mean, she's built a small egg sack, and they're just small teasers, but she, uh, the kids can't touch them anyway. It's a total waste of time. <laughs> I don't know why she did it. But she's an MMA fighter. Do people like MMA fighting? People like the UFC? I was disappointed with Fight Island, right? So I thought, hey! I thought, hey! Fight Island! It's not really a Fight Island unless you're fighting all the time. <laughs> like you go there, I'm oh, gonna go to Fight Island. You get on the plane, the stewardess punches you in the face! <laughs> and punch you until you submit and lay you in your seat. And then you say, Can I have a glass of water? Whack! This is Fight Island! You get out of the plane and you come down the stairs and say, Can I see your passport? Oh, yeah? Pow! Fight it! All the way to the hotel. Hey, I booked a room. Really? Fight me! <laughs> That's what I want to fight on. <laughs> anyway, you've been a very nice group of people. I hope that everyone is okay. And then, and see, every time I come, and I, I know this is all to people <laughs> who work here at, at Mark and everyone who's lovely to me. But comedy and entertain Mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> you know, it's not. <laughs> it's, I just want everyone to enjoy it as much as I do. Because I love it. I love it. And what's great is the guys, right? They said, here, we're going to build this new a mural for your great bar. And then they do that. <laughs> the hockey team. And they go like, well, hey, wait a minute. 
there's not N, M, and N. <laughs> there's an N and N table. Can you fix that? Fuck off! <laughs> no! This is Fire Island! <laughs> yeah, anyway, I just wanted you all to enjoy that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. <laughs>